Imagine a material so advanced it can withstand the blistering heat of hypersonic flight temperatures that melt ordinary metals and redefine the future of aerospace technology. China's latest breakthrough in niobium silicon alloy has achieved just that. This revolutionary discovery, born from cutting-edge experiments aboard the Tiangong space station, overcomes decades-old challenges in material science. It's not just about creating stronger engines, it's a leap toward faster, more efficient hypersonic vehicles and military advancements. In this video, we'll uncover how this innovation works, why it matters, and what it means for the global race in aerospace technology. Stay tuned, it's a story you don't want to miss. For decades, niobium silicon alloys have been viewed as the ideal material for aerospace applications, thanks to their remarkable ability to endure extreme heat. However, this material faced two critical obstacles it required an arduous and slow crystal growth process and was too brittle at room temperature, making it unsuitable for manufacturing robust aircraft engines. These challenges placed severe limitations on its practical use until now. China's breakthrough comes from a team of scientists led by Wei Bingbo at Northwestern Polytechnical University. The team devised a revolutionary rapid cooling process that accelerates crystal growth to an unprecedented rate of 9 cm per second. For perspective, traditional methods required 100 hours at 1,600 degrees centigrade to form these crystals an inefficient, time-intensive process. This new approach compresses that timeline into seconds, making mass production of the alloy a feasible reality. However, speed alone was not enough. The inherent brittleness of niobium silicon alloys at room temperature rendered the material fragile and prone to failure in real-world applications. To address this, the team incorporated trace amounts of hafnium into the alloy. This minor adjustment had a massive impact, increasing the material's room temperature strength by over threefold. The result is a material capable of maintaining its structural integrity under both extreme heat and normal conditions, making it ideal for high-performance aerospace applications. The alloy's ability to withstand temperatures exceeding 3,092 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,700 degrees centigrade makes it invaluable for hypersonic flight, where vehicles must endure immense thermal stress. Current aerospace materials degrade rapidly at such temperatures, limiting their performance and lifespan. With niobium silicon alloy, engines and structures can operate at higher speeds and under more intense conditions, enabling advancements in hypersonic missiles, spacecraft, and next-generation military technology. This innovation represents a significant leap forward in material science, solving problems that have stymied researchers for years. The breakthrough in niobium silicon alloy production owes much of its success to experiments conducted aboard the Tiangong space station. Space, with its unique microgravity environment, provided the perfect laboratory to overcome the challenges that had hindered this material's development on Earth. In the absence of gravity, materials behave differently during processes like crystal growth and solidification. Scientists aboard Tiangong suspended alloy particles in a vacuum chamber and struck them with lasers, observing how they cooled and formed. This approach allowed researchers to study the material's properties in ways impossible under Earth's gravitational pull. One of the most significant findings was the formation of shrinkage pore structures unique to the microgravity environment. These pores, absent in Earth-based experiments, provided critical insights into optimizing the alloy's production process. Additionally, microgravity enabled more uniform crystal growth, reducing imperfections in the alloy. Uniformity is crucial for creating a material that is both strong and durable, particularly for applications where even minor flaws can lead to catastrophic failures, such as in hypersonic vehicles. These findings laid the foundation for the rapid cooling method that now enables the mass production of niobium silicon alloy. The significance of conducting experiments in space cannot be overstated. Gravity on Earth often interferes with the natural behavior of materials, masking phenomena that are critical to understanding and improving their properties. By removing this variable, researchers could identify and address the alloy's weaknesses, leading to the groundbreaking solutions we see today. This research highlights the broader potential of space-based experiments. Beyond advancing niobium silicon alloys, it showcases how space can serve as a unique environment for solving complex engineering challenges. 
China's ability to leverage its space station for such high-stakes research demonstrates the value of integrating space exploration with terrestrial innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. China's success with niobium silicon alloy extends far beyond the realm of science and engineering. It carries profound strategic and geopolitical implications, positioning China as a leader in aerospace technology and material science, while addressing critical vulnerabilities in its supply chain. Niobium is a rare metal essential for producing high-performance alloys, yet China possesses less than 1% of the world's reserves. The vast majority of niobium, nearly 90%, is mined in Brazil, a member of the BRICS economic bloc and a major supplier to China. This reliance on imports has long been a point of vulnerability, particularly in an era of heightened geopolitical tensions and weaponized supply chains. By developing the capability to mass-produce niobium silicon alloys domestically, China is reducing its dependence on foreign suppliers. This shift is crucial for bolstering its technological autonomy, especially as the nation faces sanctions from the United States that target its universities and research institutions, including Northwestern Polytechnical University. Despite these external pressures, the successful development of this alloy demonstrates China's ability to innovate independently and thrive under challenging circumstances. The implications for military and aerospace technology are equally significant. Hypersonic missiles, advanced fighter jets, and next-generation spacecraft all stand to benefit from the enhanced performance and durability offered by this alloy. With vehicles capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and operating at higher speeds, China is poised to strengthen its defense capabilities and assert its position in the global race for hypersonic supremacy. Beyond the military, this breakthrough has the potential to transform high-end manufacturing. The ability to produce stronger, more heat-resistant materials will open new possibilities for commercial aerospace, energy, and industrial applications. It signals a broader shift toward advanced materials that can meet the demands of modern engineering. In the context of global power dynamics, this achievement underscores the strategic importance of investing in material science and space-based research. As nations compete for technological dominance, innovations like niobium silicon alloy will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of industry and defense. For China, this is not just a scientific milestone, it's a statement of resilience, ambition, and global leadership. China's niobium silicon alloy is a triumph of science, engineering, and strategy. It solves long-standing challenges in material science, enabling the creation of hypersonic vehicles and engines capable of withstanding extreme conditions. The role of space-based research in this discovery underscores the value of innovation beyond Earth, while its geopolitical implications reveal the broader stakes of technological progress. This isn't just about China, it's about the future of aerospace and the possibilities unlocked by pushing the boundaries of what's possible. As we look ahead, one thing is clear the intersection of science, industry, and strategy will continue to shape the technologies that define our world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.